Oh my gosh, what have they done? What? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> another video if you're new here my name is Charlene on this channel I talk about fragrances lifestyle and tea today's video is a big video for me if you guys have been watching my channel you know I have been doing a series dedicated to my beloved Miss Dior perfume this was my signature scent for forever and today the fragrance has just been released I have received my bottle so i will be sharing my very first impressions with you guys i had my predictions for this perfume and i'm sure you guys know how much i was hoping they'll bring back that praline unique note of popcorn cherry strawberry and um let's just see if you guys have seen my whole series which i want you guys to check out because i go through every single flanker from this house. It's a mini series I've done all about Miss Dior and I rank the fragrances in terms of their longevity. Also, I rank my most loved from the collection in the house and I also go through everything about Miss Dior and the journey it has made from 2005 up to 2021. I go through the body care, skincare, everything. Guys, check out that video. This is a fragrance house and most definitely a perfume I am loyal to guys. I buy everything Miss Dior. I'm the biggest fan of this perfume, but they have made some major changes where I had to get used to this perfume. Let's sample this fragrance guys, because I have no idea. In my last video, I spoke about how the 2017 version had a praline note that didn't seem to match the skincare and I was wondering well if Christian Dior is going to reformulate this perfume I have a feeling they're either going to drop that creamy chocolatey note and have the fragrance match the flankers and if you have been watching Christian Dior's style they have been promoting in their campaign they are promoting rose petals and florals lots of different petals in abundance i have a feeling that christian dior is heading towards the more floral aspect of his fragrances now when it comes to miss dior i think he's focusing mainly on the note of rose and in grass which is where he has his beautiful rose field um i think this is the this is going to take center stage now of his fragrance line and in terms of Miss Dior and that's what I'm seeing. They're dropping all the fruity notes and they're focusing a lot more on florals. When you look at the campaign, you take into account the color of the bottle, the aesthetics of the fragrance as well. I'm seeing a confetti of different colors now. I'm hoping that they've been watching our videos and listening to what we're crying out for. And they've been asking for this popcorn, cherry, strawberry, something fruity and sweet, bring that back. If not, I think Christian Dior is going to go the other way and I think they're going to do um, more delicate florals and when you go by like the campaign and the colours, I think there might be like a bluebell, violet, soft petal note in here. Um, I see some butterflies, some cornflower in here, so it looks like it might go a little bit more on the blue side of the florals, that's why I'm hinting at maybe some iris or perhaps some violet notes in here. That's just from the marketing that I can see, guys. And um, yeah, I'm really excited to try this, guys. So let's just get into it. I've been rambling on for long enough now, so I know you guys just want me to sample this. So guys, this is my true first impressions of this perfume. I have not smelt this, guys. So I am going to spray this now. I'm going to spray it on a card first. Oh my gosh, what have they done? What? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> okay, so let's get to the point. So, this is going to be non-biased. Okay, so my first impression is that I like it. <laughs> However, <laughs> The reason why I say I like it is because in my mind I thought they were going to do something totally different from the original. 
The praline is still in here, but it's not strong. It's been overshadowed by... So, oh my gosh. The praline note is still in there, thank goodness. We still have that rose in here. It's a little bit more floral. I think I'm getting a little bit of violet, but it's not powdery. And I'm getting this citrus as well. And yeah, I pick up a citrus. Let's see, because I haven't... Does it say what's in here? I like it guys, but I can't say I love it. Am I disappointed? I can't say that I'm extremely disappointed because in my last video, I was going through some of the flankers and there are two fragrances there that I think are quite similar to this one in a sense. So I can see it was heading in that direction anyway, so I'm not surprised. And um, that praline notice still in here. I can't really say that this fragrance excites me, but I would definitely have to get used to this perfume. This new perfume has a slight likeness to Absolutely Blooming. I think I'm getting a bit of that peony note. It's become a lot more floral. So here I have my new release here, and that's the packaging there. And I'm going to hold them up side by side. This is the 2017 version. So if I hold them up side by side, you can just see the color difference there. The 2017, you've got more of like a gray shade on the labeling. And then on the new version, we do have a lilac shade. So these two, the packaging is more or less the same, guys. And I have 150 mil here, and this is my 30 mil here. You have the houndstooth design on the side. And again, you've got houndstooth down the side there and at the top. So let's unbox my new fragrance, guys. Now that the fragrance is drying down, I have to say it's a bit more, it reminds me a lot of Blooming Bouquet. Very much so. Okay. All right, so let's unbox this one here. And let's just have a look. So yes, again, you've got that lilac shade in here. It's very much like a lilac-y grey, which is really beautiful, actually. It's like a soft, velvety lilac grey. You can probably see it there. The camera's picking it up more on that side there. So that's the colour. So you can see there's a subtle change there in the packaging. And, um, oh, it's so beautiful. <laughs> Darling, so that's my new fragrance, the new release of... Mistior 2021. So pretty, guys. It's very pretty. Um, very different. Yeah, they've changed it up so much. Oh my gosh, guys. So now that this has dried down a bit more, I feel like I'm picking up some violet, I'm picking up peony, and I'm picking up a fruity note. It's either... It could be a peachy note in there. So that's what I'm picking up on my first impressions. Otherwise, it's fairly similar. I can detect some rose in here as well. I have the notes here. And um, let's see. So in the top notes, we have Lily of the Valley, Peony and Iris. Now, Iris is something I did predict. Um, we have Centifolia Rose. We have Apricot and Peach. We have Tonka, Musk, Vanilla, Benzoin and Sandalwood. I do like it, guys. I do like it. I have to say, I, I don't mind this one. Um, but I think there's a note in there that I don't like so much. I think I'm not liking the Lily of the Valley note because it's like almost a green note. And when I look at all my fragrances, I don't think I have any fragrances with this note. I don't think it's something I usually wear. Violet, I don't mind the violet. Iris. A little bit of iris I don't mind but I think you guys would like this if you like absolutely blooming you will like this because it's not as rich as absolutely blooming but it has more it's sweeter than absolutely blooming I think absolutely blooming is a little bit fresh and fresh and bright this one is floral very much floral there is a creaminess to this fragrance as well and um, yeah, I do get the vanilla tonka slightly. It's like a smooth, light tonka. And there's some sandalwood in here as well. So I have to say, I am quite pleasantly surprised, guys. And this is a like. And I didn't think I was going to like this fragrance, to be honest. Um, 
because of I can see how Dior has changed so much, I wasn't sure, I wasn't convinced I would actually like this fragrance. And I do have a 13ml, so let's see, I'm going to play around with this guys, keep you guys updated. Now, in terms of my prediction, by the marketing alone and from the growth of Miss Dior, I did predict that there would be some iris and violet in here, and that's only because before I even saw the marketing campaign, I think from which fragrance was it? From Blooming Bouquet and Rose and Roses, I thought that this would be going in that direction, very floral, a little bit on the green side. So I thought maybe they would add something, you know, very green in here, but there is Lily of the Valley. And I think that I'm picking that up a lot in the opening of this perfume and I'm not keen on it. But I can't say it's a no for me. And um, this is very fresh. I think this would really suit the younger crowd nicely because it's sweet and floral. I think it's a nice balance. This fragrance is again, fairly different. It's not close enough to say that, oh, okay, I can just get on with this now. It's still quite a different perfume. So once again, guys, like you will see in my other videos, it's a new fragrance and maybe this should have been called little Dior instead of Miss Dior or Petite Dior or something different like just a new name I think. So I really do hope that Christian Dior will keep this perfume in its collection. It's a shame if this one does eventually become discontinued. I actually have a 30ml bottle so I don't know if the shape of this fragrance is different because of the size but usually with Christian Dior it's exactly the same. Just by the neck of the bottle this part has a ridge here you can just see the ridges there. And then we have a plain side just here. Then we have the hound's tooth at the bottom there. And then we have that silver metallic bow. And then you have the see-through lid with the logo here at the top. Here you can see it again, the logo there on the sides. Right at the back of this perfume, you can pick up the address and the size of the bottle of the perfume there there can you see it just here that's the batch code there on the new fragrance here it's just smooth and flat and then on the bow we have this delicate gray lilac bow almost like a burst of confetti which is really pretty and feminine and then if i turn it around this side again it's still plain and if you can pick it up here You've now got the address at the base of the bottle. I said if anything, if they do reformulate this fragrance, I had a feeling that they were going to change this color of the juice. So let's see if my predictions were right. So we've got this orange ambery juice here. And now we have this light floral pink. How clued up am I about this brand, guys? <laughs> I knew if anything was going to change, it was going to be the color of the juice and you guys will see why. So yes, I was right about that. Um, the next thing I was right about was, I guess, either two ways. It was either they were going to bring back the notes of Miss Dior Cherie, or they were going to take away this praline note. In this fragrance, they have done so. It's not as prominent now. There is a slight delicate sweetness in this perfume, but it's not as gourmand. I can't now describe this as a gourmand fragrance in the slightest. This is gourmand. This is sweet and chocolatey rose, orange, bergamot, beautiful. Um, this one, I would have to say, this is now a floral. We still have an indent here where the label is at the front. The houndstooth is the same. The clear lid, and then when we take the lid off, we have CD just here. So there's a few subtle changes. So guys, this is my new Miss Dior 2021. This fragrance is going to be released in September, so let me know your thoughts on this perfume in the comment section below when you try this fragrance let me know what you think this is a like for me at the moment but let's just see how it changes i'm going to play around with this fragrance and keep you guys updated i hope you guys get a chance to grab this bottle on its release date before it's sold out <laughs> so yes that's my beautiful bottle it's really cute i have to say it's really cute i hope you enjoyed this video i share a lot of perfume content on my channel check out my fragrance videos and i do talk a lot about these perfumes my miss your collection i will see you guys in the comment section have a great day darlings bye